spend two hours with Grifos to learn how to shoot the arrow. Hopefully, we can add Grifos, eight meters competition, okay? And we will start at around three meters first, okay? So, this is the bow that you are going to use. This is called recurve bow. Recurve is for the uh, Olympic, uh, Oli Oli Olympic competition, okay? So, uh, let me introduce some parts of this uh, bow first. This is the grip, where you put your hand. And uh, everyone will use left hand to grip. Yes. Okay? And then you can find that this... Excuse me, I'm a left-handed. Uh, we will uh, determine whether you are using which hand based on your arm. Uh, okay. Therefore, first of all, you, you should in the right hand first. Oh. If this is really difficult for you, we will switch for the left hand oh. for you. Okay? So, this is the rest. Rest is the position that we uh, put on the arrow, okay? And then this is a knocking point. You, you will find that there, is two, there are two brass here, and this is the knocking point for arrow to knock on, okay? This will be the arrow that you are using, and you can find that there are three feathers, plastic feathers on this. And typically, there are one that's having different color, that one is called the index feather. The index feather is for you to know which direction you should lock on the knocking point. You should facing the index feather, like this. Facing. Uh, we have different sets of arrows, therefore uh, the index uh, color will be different, but just find the, uh, find the one that is different, okay? So when you knock on the uh, arrow, you will hear a click sound, okay? A very loud one. If you cannot hear the click sound, you need to tap us, and then we will change the arrow, okay? Because if you do not hear the click sound, it will fall out when you are holding it, okay? So when you are, uh, after you click on the knocking point, after the click sound, put the arrow on the arrow, okay? And then this will be the starting position for you to draw the point, okay? So, <coughs> you will find that there are different lines in the archery range, and then this, the horizontal line is to divide it into different lengths, and, and the vertical one, the horizontal one is the shooting, shooting line. And now, the first shooting line you have is the virtual shooting line. And you can find the triple over there, and then we will stand on the shooting Line. So, if this is the shooting line, you need to stand it in the middle, okay? One, one on the left and one on the right. And all your toes should be facing the wall, okay? Not the window. So, uh, if you are sitting, the position is to be like this. Facing the wall, okay? Uh, we will have some signal to, uh, to make sure that everyone is shooting in the same time. So when you hear the sound, beep, and then you, you, you can step on the shooting line. So step on the shooting line means this. Step on, okay? If you do not hear the beep, beep, you should be in the area. Here is the area, okay? So after you finish the arrow, everyone will have six arrow, okay? After you finish the six arrow, you will hear.
Long gone. Here the text up. And then raise your whole hand, which is the white hand, okay? Uh, left hand, right, left hand. Raise, raise your left hand, pointing to the target. And then use three fingers of, of your right hand. We do not use the thumb and we do not use the pinky. We just use this three, okay? Use this three. <coughs> you will find a work band here, work band here. You should hook. This one is a hook, hook is a hook. Hook on the rubber, okay? When you pull over, try to put your hand on the on your chin, under your chin, under your chin, okay? What do you do that? <coughs> after Joe, you, you will find that I put under my chin, okay? Here. And then you should use your right eye to look at this dot and then aim for the target, okay? When your lock is overlapped with the target, you can release, just like this. So you will be shooting arrow like this, okay? So we have other safety first. If you are wearing bra, you, I will give you an arm guard because it's made a much easier to keep your clothes. We will give you an arm guard. If anyone can take your arm and then and just tell us, and we will give you an arm guard. Okay? So and do not run in the archery range because it's dangerous. And then after you hear the, you can go to the target. But remember, never stand behind the arrow. Because it's dangerous. Because when other people are pulling back the arrow, you will get hurt, okay? So the safety rules on getting back the arrow is like this. One hand pushing the target up, another hand pushing as close as the target. Do not pull at the end, you will bend. Pull as close as the target. And then look at look at look at this back side. See whether anyone is standing behind you. And then it, you make sure that it's clear and then you have to walk. We have a cooler for you if you do not have a drink cooler. And just like the stove, flat and round. So if you find that it's difficult to pull out the arrow, you can use that cooler. And we will teach you how to use the cooler. Okay? So we have six bowls in total. And then we'll, you will divide it into three groups. And then six people for one round. Okay? So you can try to group first. And then we will call group A, group B, and group C. So um, let's group first. Group A, group B, and group C. When, when group A is 